My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Do you know what the world's most expensive Mustang ever is? It's a Shelby GT350R, recently sold for $3.85 million. This is a tribute to that car. We got a 1965 Mustang Fastback, and it's done up like the GT350 Shelby. It's got the stripes and the scoops and the wheels. But you know what's real cool about this one, aside from all that, and there's a four-speed sitting there, it's got air conditioning too. That's something the original race car never had. And I can also tell you, I think this one's priced about 2% of what that uh, record-setting car uh, sold for. So it's very affordable. Go to volocars.com. That's where you'll find prices on all of our collector cars for sale. And that's where you find all the information. And you can study about 100 pictures top to bottom of each car. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You will be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, let's go for a spin. Yeah, it's pretty cool, iconic looking car right here. Um, underneath is very respectable. It's not a rotisserie car, so it's not polished underneath, but it's all real good. The floors, frame rails, it's all been restored. It's all good, clean metal front to back. Uh, the front end looks like it's been all rebuilt. Uh, you know, bushings and uh, steering components, uh, a lot of that looks really fresh. Uh, it has a Scott Drake disc brake upgrade up front, so they're discs, they were originally drum. Uh, the e-brake system's hooked up, looks like one of the cables are new, so I'm sure that's been serviced. Uh, the exhaust, uh, the, the R models, the exhaust came right out the side, nothing fancy, just the steel pipe. So this has like some long glass pack style mufflers and then it exits out each side of the car. You'll hear it run at the end of this video or towards the end. Bottom of the motor has got a big oversized finned aluminum uh, oil pan. I noticed there's a chrome uh, fuel pump. Uh, starter looks new. And that's a top loader, close ratio, four speed that's in there. Honestly, I'm not quite sure what the rear end ratio is. Um, Coney shocks, upgraded gas Coney shocks. I think that's what the original Shelby's ran. So underneath's real respectable. Now, as far as the body goes, you got the GT350 stripes, you got the over the top stripes, you got a, a scooped hood. This is not a scoop glued on. This is an actual scooped hood with the pins. Uh, the Shelby style, like honeycomb grill. Now, as far as condition, this is all slick. This is smooth, glossy, it looks wet, it looks beautiful. Uh, the bumper, the grill, all that looks like it's been replaced. The uh, turn signals and bezels. The antenna looks nice, windshield looks new. These moldings are definitely new. The mirrors, door handles are new. The body is excellent, even feels slick. They must have some good coating of something on here. It's as slick as can be. Yes, all nice. No bubbles, no issues. This is smooth and slick. The chrome, the louvers are all real nice. Rear window, really clear. You got a couple hairline scratches, but I'd say it's exceptionally clear. The moldings are excellent. These stripes are painted on, by the way. They did a really nice job. Shelby gas cap, Shelby uh, GT350 emblem. There's a receipt in there for about 300 bucks for all new taillight assembly and it's LED lights. And again, all this fits real nice. I see no issues with the body whatsoever uh, yet. It's all excellent. No, no problem areas, no bubbles, no cracking, nothing that I'm seeing or feeling. It's all excellent. Now these stripes uh, are a decal. That's the way they typically work. The vent window frame is a little, some pitting on the vent window frame itself. Mustang Club, Shelby Club. <clears throat> and those Shelby wheels, I almost forgot to mention them. That really sets it apart from the others. Uh, a lot of them I see don't have these wheels. 
The tires are less than two years old. They're BF Goodrich Advantage TAs, I think they're called. Uh, the receipt's in there for that. So the wheels really give it that authentic look. So how about we open it up? I'll give you a tour of what's inside. Whoever gets this car is going to get some bonuses. We got some Christmas gifts in here for you. Uh, there's boxes, several boxes. Some of parts are used. Some parts are still new in wrappers and, and packages. We have some extra moldings. That'll all go with the car. Uh, if you want to see what the trunk looks like without all this junk in there, our photographer emptied it and took all the pictures. That's on our website. Uh, but it does have the gray plaid mat, does have the jack. We even have a car cover. Uh, the spare is actually in the car. We'll show you that in a minute. But it's painted up real nice. New weather strip, uh, new decal. So you got a really nice trunk compartment here. And it comes with all them extra goodies for you. I did buy this car from a collector uh, that it, I, we've known for God, 30, 40 years here, done business with us, always has nice cars. Uh, so you got a new door panel, the armrest is new, the metal's painted, the weather strip uh, has been replaced. So that's all in great shape. Now the dash, got some cool features. This is the Moto Lita uh, Shelby style steering wheel. Beautiful steering wheel, always been one of my favorites. And then the Shelby uh, gauge cluster, which has a Stuart Warner tachometer and oil pressure gauge. Now the rest of the dash is in, in overall very good condition. It's not beat up or broken or cut up. It has the stock radio. Um, it does have a, a new water uh, temperature gauge down below. And then the shifter has the Cobra knob with the reverse lockout handle, so it looks authentic. And the air conditioning was neatly installed uh, below the dash there. Glove box liner is new. The light in there works. The lights down below the dash work. So we got real nice carpets. The seats have been reupholstered. You got racing style uh, lap belts. They're very easy to use. Now, when I had mentioned the spare tires in the car, this is like what the race cars had. The rear seat was removed. I assumed to uh, make the car lighter, replaced with this panel. Uh, spare tire is relocated, probably a weight distribution thing. Uh, and all the side panels, all this is excellent. The lights work. Headliner's new. So you got a really nice, cool interior. Also, uh, we got a folder full of miscellaneous receipts, uh, books, and manuals. Inside here is some uh, manuals that'll all go with the car. Uh, so that, that'll all be included. Door jams are painted nice. Sill plates have been replaced. I already removed the hood pins, the racing pins. Now the Shelby's uh, had a hood prop to hold the hoods open. Now this is a 289 motor. It's got a performance build. Uh, it's got a little hotter cam. We have the cam card in that paperwork. Aluminum intake with a dual feed holly. Uh, it's got headers. Looks like it has a manual choke. That's probably how the race car would have been. And it's dressed up with the Cobra valve covers. The open element uh, chrome air cleaner is correct. Also has this support bar. You know, keeps the car from twisting. Uh, all the metal appears to be in really nice, clean shape. It's just a satin black finish with smooth, clean metal. Uh, we got a disconnect switch on the battery when you park it for long term. Reproduction uh, clamps, it's got the shroud. Well, that looks to be in great shape. It is a classic auto air air conditioning system. We have the receipt for that. It was a complete new system that was installed in the car about uh, 15 years ago. And the brakes uh, were upgraded to a dual reservoir. So you have front and back are separate. So you won't ever lose all your brakes if you were to lose something. And then people always love this uh, washer fluid bag. That's how they were back in the day. And I did notice the bottom of the hood is actually cut open, so that scoop will allow some fresh air to get into that motor. 
And uh, they also went as far as buying a reproduction Shelby uh, serial number tag. car has a lot of pizzazz. I mean, just looking at it is impressive. It's exciting. Uh, driving it is super exciting. So uh, overall condition, again, it's a great car. Someone would be really happy with this one right here. Door shuts real nice. A four-speed with air is a pretty tough combination to, to come by. And Personally, if I ever were to buy a car like this, I would really want the four-speed. I'd want to get out and you know, experience that. Uh, pretend I'm a race car driver for, for a little bit. And uh, the, the four-speed is a big deal to me. And again, you rarely see the four-speed with air in one of these Shelby clones. Uh, but this one's got it. It's got a lot going for it. So That's my impression. Go to volocars.com, speak to the salesman. If you have questions or concerns, make sure you discuss that with them. They'll help you the best they can. They can help get this delivered to your driveway. They can help you get it financed as well. That's at volocars.com. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon. That way you can be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.